Mark Tilly and welcome back to Dirt Bike Magazine's video series, Premix, where it's all two strokes all the time. Today, we're getting our first chance to ride what we would consider a updated, it's not all new, it looks brand new, but the updated 2022 YZ85 and then now the all new YZ85 big wheel version. <laughs> Yamaha took a page out of their larger two-stroke book with the YZ250 this year. It got all new styling, it, it got some updates along the way, but the, the heart of it, the engine, stayed the same. They kind of used the same script for the YZ85. Engine, no changes. There is some more intake ports and you can get more air into the air box and then that flows more into the motor. But actual engine wise, it is identical to the previous model. And both bikes are identical in the power plant. Actually, the only difference between the two motorcycles, the big wheel version naturally has larger wheels for the super mini class and it has a longer swing arm. The actual setup on the suspension on the large wheel motorcycle is a little bit stiffer overall. The forks you run down in the clamp to where it, it's flush on the big wheel, whereas on the standard version, they're slid up a little bit. But like we said, this bike got all new styling for 2022, kind of to make it a little bit more ergonomically balanced. Yamaha has been the one bike with only one radiator. It still only has one radiator. It has kind of a mock radiator shroud on the pipe side, kind of making it a little bit ergonomically correct. Naturally, there's different styling throughout. The bike has all new graphics for this year. The subframe is aluminum, where last year's subframe was steel. They did this to get a little bit more rigidity out of it, but then that rigidity, they were hoping that it transfers into a little bit more rider comfort. The frame has been beefed up in places along with the swing arm to give the bike a more rigid feel as well so that it, it tracks a little bit straighter, mainly geared towards the faster, more aggressive rider to have better handling all the way around. The last major change is an all new rear brake system. Gone is the external reservoir for, to add more oil. It's all in the master cylinder and the rear brake caliper now. There's nothing external. It's got a different seat, just like what the brand new YZ125 and YZ250. So if you want all the in-depth specs on this motorcycle, head over to dirtbikemagazine.com. That's enough talking, let's go ride. <laughs> So we just got done with our first day of testing. The test rider that you will see in this video will be Kodiak Lehman. He does lots of off-road riding. Kodiak normally rides a KX85. And he said that the, the difference in power between the two bikes was interesting. His Kawasaki had a little bit more bottom. This one has a little bit more mid and they both have about the same top. So this bike was really easy for him to adapt to. About the only difference that we did notice between this year's 85 and last year's 85 is it's a little bit more responsive right off bottom. The only thing that we can attribute that to is 
maybe the more airflow coming through the air box and in, into the engine, but it is a bit, has a little bit better response right off bottom. This bike makes good usable power all the way through the power curve. Maybe compared to like the Austrian brands, it might sign off a little bit on top, but very competitive engine wise. We love the look of this motorcycle. It looks just like the, the larger uh, 125 and 250. The test riders did notice today that it does feel a little bit more balanced that having that extra radiator shroud, you think that it, it wouldn't really, you wouldn't be able to notice it, but they definitely did notice that it felt a little bit more balanced if nothing else, just in the rider cockpit. The bar risers are a little bit tall on both models, and that's something that they noticed right away. It allowed the riders to be able to roll the bars back a little bit, rather than run them forward like you see on a lot of other mini cycles. Suspension settings between the two, the standard version is a little bit softer overall. Big wheel version, naturally a little bit stiffer overall. Our test riders did notice that with the bigger wheels and the stiffer suspension, the bike soaked up the bumps a lot easier. Naturally with the bigger wheels that will happen right away, but it was a noticeable difference between the two. The sag on the 85s is done a little bit different than you do on normal size motorcycles or standard size motorcycles whereas we're normally around you know 103 to 104 these are more like 75 80 millimeters a sag that gets the back end to be a little bit ride a little bit higher and be a little bit taller to put a little bit more weight on that front end for turning we definitely like the fact that yamaha is putting the time and effort into two-stroke development they're one of the, the last japanese manufacturers that are doing this and that's a really good thing. They've revamped their entire two-stroke motocross line. Within the last four or five years, they've brought out an all-new 65. They updated the YZ250. They updated the YZ125. And to see them not only update the YZ85, but then offer a bigger wheeled version, it just shows that Yamaha is really pushing forward on the two-stroke market. And we can't say enough about that. We really, really like what they're doing. We like the way that they're going with these bikes. The big wheeled version actually comes out of, kind of from GYTR. Last year they were offering a super mini or a big wheel kit that gave you the swing arm and the wheels all as one unit that you needed. This year they actually have the motorcycle, so they saw the need for it. And you can actually, if you buy the YZ85 and your kid gets a little bit too big for it, you can go back and buy the swing arm and big wheels as OEM parts from Yamaha. It's really cool to see Yamaha not only putting time and effort into the two strokes in general, but really going and putting that extra effort into the youth market. We think that the want is out there for more options for the younger rider. And in the last couple of years, we've seen a really big boom in the need for motorcycles for younger riders, starting from the PW50 size all the way up through the YZ250 size. So kudos to Yamaha. Again, this is our first day of testing on this bike. We have a very eager group of 85cc riders to put lots of time and, and effort into testing this thing throughout the year. And check back to dirtbikemagazine.com for maybe some off-road projects on these motorcycles or maybe even some motocross hop-up stories. One of the things we're really excited about too is now that we have two brand new models from Yamaha in the 85 market, a KX85, a KX112, there's standard size versions of the KTM and larger wheeled versions of the KTM, the Husky and the Gas Gas. So we have a, a lot of bikes in our stable now when it comes to 85s. Stay tuned, there might be some kind of little shootout coming between all the different manufacturers. And if you got a little bit more time on your hands and you wanna check out some other two stroke videos, hit the video thumbnail now. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest YouTube releases.